Greetings, gang. Well, we made it to Saturday. Uh, <laughs> thank God. <sighs> Interesting turn of events this week, huh? I'm going to give you a little bit of this. You know, all this stuff that we have been saying, not just me, I'm talking to the whole community, about civil war being on the horizon, uh, that the country's gone into the toilet. I mean, Thursday made that completely obvious. Uh, be careful out there. I'm going to say this as succinctly as I can. The left is doing whatever they can to goad conservatives into violence. Reuters posted an article yesterday, Reuters uber liberal as usual. I mean, the news service, right? You know, but all right. about conservatives planning violence and riots. Have you seen any of those basically ever from conservatives? I mean, hell, when you had the Tea Party movement, they'd go out and have their protests. And before they left, they'd go pick up all the trash in the park. Okay, nothing burned, nobody died, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Look at January 6th, that protest. The only person that died, only people, I guess, if you will, that died were conservatives at the hands of liberals. Okay, was there any damage to the Capitol building? A couple of broken windows. Oh, okay, you know, and we can go take a look at. You know, the typical Democrat protests, cities burn, people die, that's it. They are goading us into starting something. The talking heads out there, the liberal talking heads, are trying to be all sympathetic. It is all a freaking game. You know, Stephen A. Smith, if you know him, the Uber liberal, total racist sports commentator on uh, ESPN is saying how a civil war is now inevitable. He's not a Biden supporter. He's not a Trump supporter, but he can't support Biden. But we're, we're going to civil war over this. They're trying to, this is, this is the, M.O. for liberals, okay? Accuse everybody else of doing what you are planning, right? Or what you've already done yourself. They want the Civil War. They want it bad. They want some idiot conservative to go shoot somebody or burn something down or whatever so they can point the finger and say he started it okay you know again we've got the mentality of a five-year-old and then they can go raise hell you know if you watch tucker carlson at all uh tucker has made some made a very good point about what, how they're trying to do this, okay? And the path that they are taking with Donald Trump. That they impeached him, that didn't work. They indicted him, that didn't work. They found him, they found him guilty, that didn't work. What's next? Whether they throw him in jail, that ain't gonna work, okay? They only have one other option. That's assassination. Now, if you notice this one, maybe maybe this one slipped by because the media doesn't like to report this. Last week or last month, not I mean it's June first, not May, in April, the Senate, run by the Democrats, voted to remove a Secret Service detail from any president who was incapacitated or incarcerated. I'm sorry, wrong word. Gee, did they know what was coming? 
You heard all the stories about Rikers Island, you know, the jail in New York, planning for Trump. Any idea what their plan is? They want to get rid of him at all costs. Gee, let's throw him into Rikers with no Secret Service detail, a 77-year-old man. What are the chances that one of those prisoners in New York is a liberal? I don't know. New York City's 85% liberal. <laughs> hey, I'm in for murder already. Gee, you know what? Maybe I'll go down in history, you know, as killing a former president. What are the odds of that? What do you think the plan is? You, I mean, let's take a look at Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, the cameras didn't work. Oh, the guards didn't go check on him. Oh, and he miraculously committed suicide. More like Arkansas. Okay. This is the plan, guys. They want to get rid of Trump because Trump is the only one that is a rallying point for people. There isn't another conservative candidate, as you hear all these people say, oh, the, the GOP needs to nominate somebody different. No, Nikki Haley is not going to rally the base. Nikki, Joe Biden could beat Nikki Haley with both hands tied behind his back. Okay, no problem. As much as everybody likes to say we have a deep bench on the right, no, we don't. I mean, if we had such a deep bench, Trump's VP pick would be easy because whoever he picks is de facto the 2028 leading candidate for president. Okay? It needs to be a mega Republican, a firebrand, a strong America first conservative, not some wishy-washy person who's, you know, think of, not a Mike Pence, all right? We don't need another, you know, coward. We, we need somebody with, with a set of cojones in there. Because remember this, it's the future they're concerned about. They don't care about the boomers. They don't care about Gen X, my generation, okay? We're old. They just hope we die. We're useless eaters, remember? Okay? I mean, the boomers are retired. Gen X is pretty much... Started. We're hitting retirement age. Okay? We're there. No, they're more concerned about the millennials and the Zoomers. That's who they want. They want to corrupt their minds and turn this country into the Soviet Union. That's what they want. And they, again, mind you, this this did not start with Joe Biden. This started back in the Clinton era. Okay, this is this plan has been in play for thirty years. They had to flip the schools. They had to turn them into indoctrination centers. You got all the the crap. George Bush was no big help. Okay, he didn't put an end to any of this crap. Barack Obama came in and decided we're going to change this country fast. Trump was the bump in the road. They did not expect him to win in 2016. And so they had to speed up the process. Hillary was supposed to come in and complete the damage that Barry did. They couldn't run Hillary again in 2020 against Trump. She'd already lost him once. So that didn't make a whole lot of sense. Okay. Even though they say, well, then why would you run Trump against Biden again? He already lost him once. Nobody, nobody with a brain believes that Biden got 81 million vote, votes. Okay, It's just not possible. <clears throat> Trump had more votes than anybody in the history of an American election. And Biden beat him by almost 10%. No. Okay, sorry, not happening. There was a lot of cheating involved in that. We all know it. Okay, and anybody, anybody who says there wasn't is either blind or stupid. 
this is what you need to be ready for. <clears throat> they are begging for something to start. And if they can't goad us into it, they'll start it themselves and frame somebody for it. That's what it'll be. If you're a, if you're a Democrat right now, I'm not saying a liberal or a progressive, you know, because liberals or progressives need to be put on a boat with nothing but a stick of dynamite uh, out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean just so they can blow themselves up. Liberals and progressives are lowered in pond scum. <clears throat> if you're a Democrat, I want you to understand something. The far left wing of your party is going to drag you down. They're going to go to one of your schools or some nightclub and they're going to commit an atrocity. And then they're going to pin it on some conservative. They'll have some guy, they mental patient or whatever it is, a, you know, a liberal or a progressive, uh, put a MAGA hat on and go shoot up a school. And they'll, and it'll probably, probably be a predominantly black school or a predominantly Hispanic school. And they're going to have somebody go in there and pretend to be a conservative and do this. And then they're going to come up and scream bloody murder that the conservatives did it. Do not put it by them. They want a civil war more than anything else because they know in six months or five months from now, their reign of terror is over otherwise. They have to get rid of Trump or they have to stop this election. That's the only way their diabolical plan works. Something's going, something will happen. There are going to be people that are going to die to keep Joe Biden in office. That's how third world country we are, guys. That the leader of the United States is going to resort to killing other people so that he and his cohorts can stay in power. Be ready for this. This is day two of America with a K. Pinball out.